Tyagaraja, Tyagaraja, the 4th of May 1767 to the 6th of January 1847, also known as Tyagaya in Telugu, was a renowned composer of Carnatic music, a form of Indian classical music. He was prolific and highly influential in the development of the classical music tradition. Tyagaraja and his contemporaries, Shyama Shastri and Mutuswami Dikshitar, were regarded as the trinity of Carnatic music. Tyagaraja composed thousands of devotional compositions, most in Telugu and in praise of Lord Rama, many of which remain popular today. Of special mention are five of his compositions called the Pancharatna Kritis English, five gems, which are often sung in programs in his honor. Tyagaraja saw the reigns of four kings of Maratha dynasty. Tulaya II (1763–1787), Amrasimha (1787–1798), Serfoji II (1798–1832), and Savaji II (1832–1855). Although he served none of them. Topic: <laughs> Personal life and background. Tyagaraja was born Kakarla Tyagabrahmam in 1767 in Tiravarar, Thanjavur district, Tamil Nadu to Kakarla Ramabrahmam and Satama in a Telugu Brahmin family. There is a school of thought led by musicologist B. M. Sundaram that contest this and place Tiravayaru as his birthplace. His family name Kakarla, indicates that they were originally migrants from the village of the same name in the Kumbum Taluk of Prakasam district, Andhra Pradesh. His family belonged to the Smarta tradition and Bharadvaja Gotra. Tyagaraja was the third son of his parents, and Panchanada Brahmam and Panchapakesha Brahmam are his older brothers. He was named Tyagabrahmam, Tyagaraja after Tyagaraja, the presiding deity of the temple at Tiravarar, the place of his birth. Tyagaraja's paternal grandfather was Giriraja Kavi. Giriraja Kavi was a poet and musician. Giriraja was born in Kakarla village, Kumbum Taluk in Prakasam district, Andhra Pradesh. He is believed to belong to the Mulakanadu sect. Tyagaraja's maternal grandfather was Kalahasteya, Veena Kalahasteya. He was a Veena player. Tyagaraja learned playing Veena in his childhood from Kalahasteya. After Kalahasteya's death Tyagaraja found Naradiyam, a book related to music. Tyagaraja hero worshipped the celestial sage Narada, a reference to this is Tyagaraja's Krithi Vara Narada Raga Vijayashri, Adi Talam. Legend has it that a hermit taught him a mantra invoking Narada, and Tyagaraja, meditating on this mantra, received a vision of Narada and was blessed with the book Svaranavam by the sage. During his last days, Tyagaraja took vows of sannyasa. Tyagaraja breathed his last on a Pushya Bahula Panchami day, 6 January 1847 at the age of 79. His last composition before his death was Girapai Nelakana Raga Sahana, Adi Talam. He was buried at the banks of the Kaveri River at Tiravayaru. <laughs> <laughs> Musical career Tyagaraja began his musical training at an early age under Santi Venkata Ramanaya, a music scholar, after the latter heard his singing and was impressed by the child's prodigy. Tyagaraja regarded music as a way to experience God's love. His compositions focused on expression, rather than on the technicalities of classical music. He also showed a flair for composing music and, in his teens, composed his first song. Namo Namo Raghavaya, in the Desika Todi Ragam and inscribed it on the walls of the house. His compositions are mainly of a devotional bhakti or philosophical nature. His songs feature himself usually either in an appeal to his deity of worship primarily the avatar Rama, in musings, in narratives, or giving a message to the public. 
He has also composed Krithis in praise of Krishna, Shiva, Shakti, Ganesha, Muruga, Saraswati and Hanuman. Santi Venkatamanaya informed the king of Thanjavur of Tyagaraja's genius. The king sent an invitation, along with many rich gifts, inviting Tyagaraja to attend the royal court. Tyagaraja, however, was not inclined towards a career at the court, and rejected the invitation outright. He was said to have composed the Krithi, Nidhi Chala Sukama English, Does wealth bring happiness? on this occasion. He spent most of his time in Tiruvayaru, though there are records of his pilgrimages to Tiryamala and Kanchipuram. When he was in Kanchipuram, he met Upanishad Brahmayogan at the Brahmendral Mutt at Kanchipuram. Tyagaraja, who was totally immersed in his devotion to Rama and led the most Spartan way of life without bothering in the least for the comforts of the world, did not take any steps to systematically codify his vast musical output. Rangaramanuja Iyengar, a leading researcher on Carnatic music, in his work Kriti Manamalai, has described the situation prevailing at the time of death of Tyagaraja. It is said that a major portion of his incomparable musical work was lost to the world due to natural and man-made calamities. Usually Tyagaraja used to sing his compositions sitting before deity manifestations of Lord Rama, and his disciples noted down the details of his compositions on palm leaves. After his death, these were in the hands of his disciples, then families descending from the disciples. There was not a definitive edition of Tyagaraja's songs. The songs he composed in Chase Telugu were widespread in their popularity, because of the ease with which they could be sung in those days. Musical experts such as Kanchipuram Nayana Pillai, Simiji Sundaram Iyer, and Vinay Dhanamal saw the infinite possibilities for imaginative music inherent in his compositions and they systematically notated the songs available to them. Subsequently, indefatigable researchers like K. V. Srinivasa Iyengar and Rangaramanuja Iyengar made an enormous effort to contact various teachers and families who possessed the palm leaves. K. V. Srinivasa Iyengar brought out Adi Sangeeta Ratnavali and Adi Tyagaraja Ridayam in three volumes. Rangaramanuja Iyengar published Kriti Mani Malai in two volumes. He also composed songs in Sanskrit. Furthermore, Musiri Subramania Iyer, the doyen of Bhava Sanjitam, had a vast collection of books in his library. T. K. Govinda Rao, his disciple, brought out a volume of the songs of Tyagaraja in English and the Devanagari script. T. S. Parthasarathy, a leading scholar on Tyagaraja, published the text and meaning of Tyagaraja's songs. There are also many less comprehensive publications in Telugu. Out of 24,000 songs said to have been composed by him, about 700 songs remain now but scholars are skeptical about numbers like 24,000 since there is no biographical evidence to support such claims. In addition to nearly 700 compositions, Critis, Tyagaraja composed two musical plays in Telugu, the Prahalada Bhakti Vijayam and the Naka Charitam. Prahlada Bhakti Vijayam is in five acts with 45 Critis set in 28 ragas and 138 verses, in different meters in Telugu. Naka Charitam is a shorter play in one act with 21 Critis set in 13 ragas and 43 verses. The latter is the most popular of Tyagaraja's operas, and is a creation of the composer's own imagination and has no basis in the Bhagavata Purana. Tyagaraja also composed a number of simple devotional pieces appropriate for choral singing. The 20th century Indian music critic K. V. Ramachandran wrote, Tyagaraja is an indefatigable interpreter of the past. But if with one eye he looks backward, with the other he looks forward as well. Like Prajapati, he creates his own media, and adores his Rama not alone with jewel words newly fashioned, but also with jewel like music newly created. It is this facet of Tyagaraja that distinguishes him from his illustrious contemporaries. 
In other words, while Tyagaraj's contemporaries were primarily concerned with bringing to audiences the music of the past, Tyagaraja also pioneered new musical concepts at the same time. Topic. Remembrance Tyagaraja Aradhana, the commemorative music festival is held every year at Tiruvayaru in the months of January to February in Tyagaraja's honour. This is a week-long festival of music where various Carnatic musicians from all over the world converge at his resting place. On the Pushya Bahula Panchami, thousands of people and hundreds of Carnatic musicians sing the five Pancharatna Kritis in unison, with the accompaniment of a large bank of accompanists on venas, violins, flutes, natasvarams, murdangams, and ghatams. The sports complex in New Delhi, Thyagaraj Sports Complex, was named after him. A crater on the planet Mercury is named Thyagaraja. Topic. Popular culture Topic. Films on Tyagaraja biographical. As the most famous composer of Telugu Kritis or Kirtanas, Tyagaraja, who is fondly remembered as Tyageya, has caught the imagination of filmmakers in the Telugu film industry. Apart from references to his works, using the kirtanas as songs, two films were made on his life. Chitter V. Nagaya made a biographical epic on Tyagaraja titled Tyagaya in 1946 which is still treated as a masterpiece of Telugu cinema. In 1981, Bapu, Ramana made Tyagaya with J. V. Samayajulu in the lead role. Another attempt is being made by Singitam Srinivasa Rao to picturize Tyagaraja's life. Topic: Compositions. The term Pancharatna in Sanskrit means five gems. The Pancharatnas are known as the five finest gems of Carnatic music. All the Pancharatnas are set to Adi Talam. So far as Pancharatnas are concerned, a stable text has been handed over by the earlier musicians to the present day. Several musicians have brought out editions of Pancharatnas. However, Vinay Sundaram Iyer's edition is the most detailed and comprehensive. All the compositions of Tyagaraja show the way for the systematic development of the respective ragas. However, in the Pancharatnas, Tyagaraja has given full, exhaustive and complete treatment as to how to systematically and scientifically develop a raga. The two fundamental conditions that must be satisfied for a systematic development of a raga are the arrangement of the solfa swaras in the natural order of arohanam and avarahanam of the ragas so as to satisfy the sound principles of harmony and continuity. Pancharatnas satisfy these scientific principles in an unparalleled manner. The Pancharatnas are composed in perfect Sarvalugu swaras. The first Pancharatna is Jagadhanandakaraka, in the Raga Nata. It is composed in lucid and poetic Sanskrit. It praises Lord Rama as the source of all joy in the universe. Originally there were only six karahants for the song and when the disciples examined the song it contained ninety names of Lord Rama in mellifluous Sanskrit. The disciples requested Tyagaraja to slightly expand the song by adding two sharanas containing eighteen more names of Lord Rama. The saint acceded to the request of the disciples and that is the reason why the song Jagadhanandakaraka contains two mudras containing the name of Tyagaraja while the other four songs contain only one mudra each. The next is Duduku Gala in the Raga Gola set to Adi Talam. In this song, Tyagaraja takes the blame upon himself for all the misdeeds of men and ruminates on who would come and save him from this deplorable situation. The third is Sadin Chain in the Raga Arabi, set to Adi Talam. In this song, Tyagaraja lovingly criticizes Lord Krishna for his cleverness in getting what he wants to be done. 
Sadin Chain is a breathtaking lullaby. The fourth song, Kana Kana Rushira is in the Raga Varali set to Adi Talam. In this song Tyagaraja describes the infinite beauty of Lord Rama. The fifth Pancharatna is Endaro Mahanubhavulu in Sri Raga. It is said that a great musician from Kerala, Shatkala Govinda Marar, visited Tigaraja and performed before him. Tyagaraja was enchanted with his performance and then was born Endaro Mahanubhavulu, the composition of unparalleled rhythmic beauty in Carnatic music. Other notable compositions by Tyagaraja include Samahavaragamana in Hindolam Ragam, Adamadagalada in Charukeshi Ragam, Raju Vidale in Hanamatodi Ragam, Nin Nami Nanara in Todi Ragam, and Nagumomu Kanalani in Abari Ragam. See also Kanchala Gopana Bhadrachala Ramadasu Parandara Dasa Anamacharya Birmingham Thyagaraha Festival Notes <laughs>